Oracle Cloud Infrastructure consists of five core services that includes identity access management, compute, that's different type of virtual machine, bare metal or dedicated, networking, storage, and database systems. What are subtopics that you must learn in each of these five core services? I'm going to cover all this in five part video series starting from this one. Welcome to another episode of weekly video series with me Atul Kumar from team Ketone Academy where we help you in your journey to cloud from complete beginner where you're starting out from foundation to the next level which is associate be it architect operations or developer or to the professional level which is certification 100997. So the first topic you should be learning is identity and access management that includes both basic and advanced identity and access management. Now Identity access management consists of users and groups or instance principle that makes your identity which is on left hand side. Now, as a part of identity access management, you're protecting these resources which you put together into a compartment which is nothing but a logical collection of these resources and then you apply appropriate policies that dictates who can do what on these resources. So let's assume you have a group of network administrator you put all your network resources into a compartment which is network compartment and give administrative privileges to the network group on the network compartment similarly all the databases you club together into a dba compartment and give all your database administrators access to this compartment or manage access on this dba compartment which means users who are part of the network compartment they will not be able to delete or create databases similarly the members of dba group will not be able to create or manage network resources but they will be able to use it so that's your users groups compartments policies that make up your identity and access management now as i said just now the compartment is logical collection of these resources on which you apply policies and that gives access to the users and there can be nested compartments as well so learn about compartment then another topic you should be knowing is about tags which is you can any resource that you create in oci you can tag it then these tags can then later be used for cost tracking and for some other purposes as well now all these topics are part of basic identity nexus management then a more advanced could be multi-factor authentication where you can use apart from username password you need one more method to authenticate to oci apart from that federation you should be knowing federation which is where you're delegating the authentication of oci console to another identity provider like identity cloud service or microsoft active directory federation service which is adfs or third party single sign on server like okta and once you understand this multi-factor authentication and federation then you should definitely be doing these labs so how do you create users groups policies create compartments assign resources into compartment apply these policies to the compartment or do these federations now if you want a full list of what all hands-on you should perform in order to not only clear the certification but understand oci very well you can go to this url ketoneacademy.com forward slash 1701072 where 1701072 represents the exam number and 05 is a number to go to the full list of all the hands-on we recommend in order to not only clear the exam but also learn OCI as an expert. Well, that's me, Atul from Team Ketone Academy, talking about first topic that's identity and access management you should be knowing or learning in OCI. So you should be learning things like users, groups, instance principle, and then compartment and policies. You should also be learning about tags and then federation. If you're watching this video on our YouTube channel or some other social platform, I'm going to put more details on our blog, which is ketoneacademy.com forward slash OCI 13. So if any new information is being added into identity nexus management, I'll put it there. Now in the next episode, I'm going to talk about the second important topic, which is networking, covering both basic networking and advanced networking. We'll talk about this diagram that includes the network component you should be learning in OCI. So networking component like VCN, subnet, security list, internet gateway, dynamic routing gateway, different other type of gateways you should be learning. So to ensure that you don't miss out that video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or for email notification at k forward slash subscribe. I'll talk about networking in my next video.